Hey everyone. So I thought I would take a second and review my experience with ordering and getting the 501 uh, mini Nintendo system. Now I know there's all kinds of different numbers, 301, 501, 601, 1001, okay? I found this uh, Black Friday on Facebook through a site Amory King was promoting and these were on for 50 bucks plus $20 shipping. So I thought for 70 bucks, I can't go wrong, okay? So really though, uh, as you're gonna see in a clip here in a bit, this should really be called 320 games in one because the list repeats itself uh, after 320. So it's really about 300, 320 games. Um, I haven't had a chance to play all the games yet, but I did uh, play a few last night and I'm gonna demonstrate a few. So here is today. the game console itself. And I was really surprised by the size. I mean, my hand is a lot bigger than the console itself. And uh, the controller wires, as you can see, are not too long at all. These are probably maybe a foot and a half, two feet. And it does come with two controllers. Now the controllers uh, are pretty stiff to start. They're gonna have to take a little bit of gameplay to work them in. But other than that, uh, there is the whole kit and caboodle right there. So as you can see on the back of the device, the power cable right here is actually a USB port and this one is of audio video input, which I have plugged into the TV right there. Now I did go ahead and buy one of the uh, HDMI adapters, but it doesn't work too well. And this whole system, I tried hooking it up to my 4K TV through my Yamaha receiver and that did not work well at all. So I have this 32 inch hair TV and sure enough, this thing works great on it. So let's go ahead and fire it up. And it pops right up along with the annoying buzz sound. So the 501 and then you simply grab the controller and you can go through the lists 50 at a time, or just scroll through one at a time.
So for 50 bucks, can you go wrong? No, I don't think so. Uh, it's obviously going to offer you a few hours of entertainment, playing some old games, having some fun. Uh, I mean, when this technology first came out, we thought all, it was all just awesome. I remember playing ice hockey for hours. Now, the ice hockey on this game is not the same ice hockey I played uh, when I was a kid. It's a different version. It's almost like Blades of Steel, but it's not as good as that at all. So, uh, you know, all kinds of uh, reminiscing here, playing some old games, uh, some old memories, playing the stuff when I was a kid. So I guess it's true that uh, when you get old, you want to revisit your childhood and, and do some things like this. So uh, feel free to leave a comment below and let me know what you think. If you have a 501 or if, even if you have another uh, version of this, I know there's some that are a thousand and one. And I was hoping this was going to have like Baseball Simulator 1000 and... Uh, a few more of the more popular sports games, but it's really basic for what it is. But for 50 bucks plus shipping, 70 bucks all in, I uh, can't really go wrong. And uh, you know, I'm sure I'll play it a few times here and there. So this was my review of the 500 in one Nintendo Mini System. Some people like it, some people don't. I'm indifferent. I don't uh, miss the 70 bucks, but uh, it's been a fun uh, experience. A little disappointing that they redid the list of 313, so it's really not 501. That's a little of a misleading advertising there. Sure, it has 500 games, but when 170 are repeated, uh, you know, it's kind of kind of crappy. So, uh, other than that, uh, feel free to hit the like button and hit subscribe for future content reviews. And I can't wait for the winter to be over so I can start making card videos again.